Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be installing a new motherboard as well as the Intel i5 processor. This is the 11th Gen i5 LGA1200. That is the socket of this Intel processor. And here I have the ASUS motherboard Prime B650M-A. Okay, so that is the, uh, the motherboard. And this is the computer. So this is a pre-built gaming computer. And there was a power outage. And I've determined that it is not the power supply or the CPU. It is the motherboard that got damaged. So there was a search. For some reason, the search protector did not protect the power outage. And the search damaged the motherboard. And it actually went past the power supply. So my computer is not turning on when I press the power button the fan doesn't spin there's no light whatsoever it just dead stone cold okay we change out the power supply and it's still a no-go so we're gonna change out we're gonna try to change the motherboard with the CPU and this video is gonna walk you through from start to the end okay so the first thing I like to do is to pre-configure the motherboard uh, meaning that we should set up the motherboard first and then transfer it over to the, to the computer. Alright, so let me go ahead and cut this thing open. So these are just extra accessories like the uh, Wi-Fi adapter meaning that you can hook it up to the motherboard and get the antenna going. Here's the motherboard. This is the, the I.O. shield for the back of the computer. And pretty much the driver and the manual is in the board. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this one apart. And what I'd like to explain to you is we'll try to save whatever we can here. In other words, I'll be saving the graphics card and the RAM. We will be replacing the CPU uh, because I do have this brand new Intel i5 11th Gen CPU. We'll be replacing with the motherboard. Alright, so I'd like to remove the RAM. and transfer it over to the new motherboard here and we'll be installing under A2 and B2 so in each of the motherboard you should be able to identify uh, they'll tell you which slot to install first we'll be installing on the grey slot instead of the black slot so let's go ahead and get it installed so make sure you have the right RAM for the motherboard my one runs on a DDR4 with the newer computer they might go with the DDR5 okay so I go remove the plastic cover that is the Intel processor that we need to install in there let's go ahead and cut it open Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll be transferring that CPU fan over to the new motherboard. I can use the stock fan that comes with it, the brand new one. But as a request, I'd like to keep that on the side. Uh, but we'll be reusing the old CPU fan. So to open this, what you have to do is to get yourself uh, a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, sorry, uh, a flathead screwdriver. 
Okay, so I'd be using the flat head here. And what you want to do is to turn this thing. When you look at that arrow, it asks you to turn it to that 180 degree. Turn that. And once you have turned it, lift it up to unlock that clipper. Once it's unlocked, you can just uh, disconnect the CPU connector and lift it straight up. Okay? As you can see, some of the thermal paste are still there. You can wipe it off, clean it off. All right, so we're gonna lift the CPU there and we're applying a new thermal paste. I'll be using this thermal paste here, MX4, the thermal compound. Be applying it on the new CPU. Oh no, did I just run out? I might have been, it's all gone. Yikes. Let me see if I have a different thermal paste here. Hold on a second. So it's pretty unfortunate. The only thing I have is the generic uh, thermal paste. So I'll be using this for temporary here. If I have a choice to use, I'll definitely use the MX4. Uh, that thermal paste is a lot better compared to who knows the third party ones. Um, unfortunately, the thing is ran out, so I apologize for this. But uh, I just wanted to share with you. Okay, so put a little X go on it, and I like to kind of spread it out all around the corner. Uh, get it at least when I squeeze it in. You're gonna get every single corner of the metal plate on the CPU. Okay, spread it as thin as possible, as far as possible, and try to cover up the entire metal piece. Okay, so that should do it. And to install this, what you want to do is you need to pre-configure the clipper again. So earlier when I remove it, I turn it to the left, pointing the arrow. But to install, you need to reverse back and lift it up. Reverse, lift it up. Reverse the arrow, lift it up, and all four corners. When you do that, reposition that again. Okay, and once you have it, you just push it down. Okay, make sure you hear that clicker that clicks onto it. And double check that make sure that it is all in. It has to be flat aligned with the base. And you can turn it around and can see that the little black uh, secure tab is being pushed all the way in. That means it's all installed. Okay, and go ahead and reposition the fan. Uh, the fan is going to be here. That is the CPU fan cable. We come back here and do I make a loop? Okay. Make sure that the blade is not touching the cable. If you feel like they do and you just have to uh, avoid that. So make a loop here just to kind of uh, a loop here to secure and fasten that that tag. All right, there you have it. So once you make a loop here, so it's kind of shorten out the wire, make sure the blade is spinning, not touching those cables. Okay, now we have preset the uh, motherboard, the brand new one, let's put them on the side. Are you eating the bun? How much you eat? More. I'm not done. You, 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 you. All right. Once you have done with that, let's go ahead and transfer the new motherboard over.
So what I'm doing right now is to align the position of the motherboard, make sure that the the I.O. board in the back, the shield is aligned with all the holes. Okay, at the same time, you should be able to see the screw is the center of the motherboard, right? So once you get that screw position right in the center, uh, you should start securing the screw. Make sure all the wires are above so that when you install later on, the wire is not kind of uh, inside of the computer. Okay. Okay, once you have done with that process, right now the next step is just to reconnect all the wiring. So let me connect the uh, exhaust fan here. And this is the CPU connector, the four pin connector for that. Okay, so this is the power cable coming from the power supply, the 24 pin. This is the SATA cable. Okay, this is the USB three. And the graphics card. Okay, get the screw back into the graphics card. And the six pin PCIe connector for the power of your graphics card. And that should be it. We have connected everything we need. Here comes the USB. Here comes the audio. And here comes the switches for the power. Alright, that should do it. So we just installed a new motherboard with the CPU here. Everything is connected and I'll be turning it on. Um, 
there you go we just swap over the motherboard and i just hope that you learned something in this video of course if you have any question regarding about switching out the motherboard uh, what you need to do and whatnot uh, please comment below i'll answer your question through the comments and if you do find this video is helpful uh, please click the like button um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't um, I would be really appreciate if you subscribe all right thanks for liking the video I hope this video is helpful to you um, of course do not forget you need to install the driver for the new motherboard okay thanks for watching until next time bye now